Can y'all invent new ways to hurt at the end of the game? Say that, say that again. Can y'all invent new ways to hurt after a game? You know, it's, we, we, we're just so close, man. It's, it's, it does hurt every time, but, uh, but I think we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out, man. We're so close. We're so close. What, what will it take to figure it out? You just got to keep grinding. You know, at the end of the day, we're trusting the coaches and uh, pray that they, 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 they figure out what we got to do at the end of the games to win, and, and we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. I asked Nathan, you guys had, I think, three fourth and shorts that you went for, and then you had the, the trick play there and that third, and I guess third and four, that was, that was critical. That was you know, Anthony threw it to uh, Tucker. Right. What's kind of your thought on, on those types of plays? It seems like it's a lot of confidence the coaching staff yeah. showing in the play. I think that was a great, great play call. Did we complete it? No. Well, was that on the play call? No, because it was there, you know. Yeah, we just got to do better as players. And, and when we have opportunities like that, we got to make the most of them. Is that, is that fun, though, for the players to be yeah, able to? Yeah, be able to get in some plays like that, yeah, for sure. Also, going for it on fourth down a couple of times in the first half, how much does that instill confidence in you guys and the coaches are kind of pushing in that, in that way? A lot of confidence because that lets them know they trust in the running backs or the quarterback or whoever's carrying the ball at the time. And uh, when you got those that trust in you, you trust in them and everything should, you know, work out in the long run. How tough was it to see uh, Anton Greenwood? I tried to turn my head. Uh, yeah, I just kind of seen his ankle. And then I just walked the other way. I hate, I, I hate him, man. He's a young guy. Um, shows a lot, a lot of potential, man. I think he's going to be a great receiver for us in the future. And uh, as soon as, as soon as he comes back from that, you know, I'm excited to see what else he'll be able to do. The, the team struggled to run the ball early, but then seemed to have a lot of success, especially in the second half. Well, what changed? What opened up? For this is how the run game goes. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to. You know, take two, three yards a chunk and, and wear them out as the game goes on. And, and as the game goes on, you keep running and you bust big ones and, and you make plays. You guys found a way to put last week to bed pretty quickly. How much more challenging is it going to be to put this one to bed? I'm going to put it to bed like we did last week, man, and, and keep going. Got to get ready for the next game and get in the game plan and, you know, make, make the fixes on the mistakes that we made for this game and keep it moving. Do, do the close losses hurt more than the... Yeah, definitely. Um, any loss hurts, but uh, one where you go to double overtime, and you literally, you get, I think you can see, you know, how much people were giving in this game. Same with last week, it hurts, man. I hate it for everybody on the team. I, I absolutely hate it. Uh, hate it for the coaches because I know they're giving all they've got. But uh, yeah, it definitely hurt. Man.